Dallas TV, CES 2018. We're back again. We brought that 360 bomb. Spin that sucker around. Well, let's go inside and see what there's to see. Be right here, Buzz TV. It's a great day for us at CES 2018. We're here with our friend Chris. We're going to talk about some fun stuff that Swagtron has. Now, you've seen our product review for the Swag Board, and you know how well of a great item that thing is and the killer price point they have. But they have some great stuff I didn't even know about. Chris, let's talk about this stuff. And I'm looking at a surfboard, and I'm kind of blown away because I can't just imagine what you guys came up with. Yeah, it's a battery-powered surfboard. I mean, it's exactly what it looks like. So tell me, what it, how, how do I work a battery-powered surfboard? Well, you know what, it's, it's actually collapsible. So we got a video over here that's kind of showing what the product's all about. But So basically, if you look at the surfboard, it is inflatable. So it can be folded up. So nice. what you want to do is it starts off with, you know, flat on the ground, you fold it out, you start pumping it up. Once it's pumped up, you drag it out close to the water, you take our battery, slide the battery in, turn it on with our remote, which is down here, and you're off and you're running. Very simple, very easy. Anybody can do it. Oh, that's very, very nice. Now, is this thing somewhat motorized, or is it a tail that moves? So it's uh, jet propelled. So it's like a jet ski. Very small jet propelled on the back side of the, of the board, right down there at the bottom. Oh, my. OK, guys. Now, I don't know where you're from. We're based here in Vegas. We got a big ass lake we use. I can only imagine the things I could do in this. Could I? Do you know if we could get away with maybe bringing this to like the Manley Bay little uh, surf thing? I, I mean, don't think we can, but uh, I wouldn't mind trying. You know, that might be a thing we should try one day. In fact, we'll talk off camera. If I could get a deal, I'm pretty sure we'll get a demo out there and do that sort of thing. What's the battery life on something like this? I've had it out for about 35 minutes, constant. Full, full throttle, 35 minutes. And what's the recharge time? Uh, it takes about four hours. Okay, now, I don't know if it's a pain in the ass. What's the battery size about? How big's the battery? Well, let's pull it out and take a look. Oh, that's not bad at all. So now, what would a spare battery run me? Because I want to get into price points, but I'm thinking I definitely want a spare battery sitting in my home world because... I want to come back yeah, and reload. Absolutely. Everybody does, right? So if you look at a spare battery, you're looking at about half the price. So it's $2,600. Okay. Uh, battery, you're looking at probably about 1250 That's not bad. Now, these are in stock right now? These will be available uh, first thing spring. OK, so we're thinking early April, maybe early May, somewhere in that window. Just in time for the summer. Exactly. Just it gets warm, and it's time for this. Am I going to be buying this on the Swagtron website? You're going to be buying this on the Swagtron website. We've been talking to some of our big box stores. Uh, it's going to be, be seen a lot of places. Uh, we had a lot of interest over through uh, CES, so we'll see where it goes. Okay, now, myself, I bought my swag board off, off Amazon just because I have that Prime thing, and I wanted it in two days, didn't want to wait a week. And you want to get it on Amazon? It'll be on Amazon as well. Good, I just wanted to make sure. Now, again, I would have went there, but I'm one of those asses. I wanted it now. Um, we talked off camera why I use mine. It's, it's more of a work thing, and I didn't want to walk for three days. So I wanted it now versus then but definitely go to their site, and the site is? Swagtron.com. There you go. Link's right down here in the description, and you'll find everything. But there's so much more than just this thing. Let's talk about the fun stuff. What caught my eye was this insane-looking mountain bike you guys have. So, Chris, let's talk about this insane mountain bike you guys have. Absolutely. Well, it's a mountain bike, but it's almost like a mountain bike slash a BMX bike. So we kind of went with, like, a BMX frame and, obviously, big, giant mountain bike-style tires. Um, what else would you like to know about it? Well, it can handle the punishment of, obviously, mountain bike as well as BMX then. Absolutely, yeah, of course. How fast does this thing go? 20 miles an hour. Oh, that is tasty. And what's my range? 20 miles. 20 miles an hour, speed of 20. Absolutely. Okay, and? And full disc brakes, front and back disc brakes. Oh, that, that's a winner right there. Absolutely, you got to stop. When you're going 20 miles an hour, you gotta, you got to be able to pump the brakes, and you want to stop. Exactly. And what's the price point on this? $5.99. That's it? Absolutely. That's less than half these scooters out there, or some of these so-called higher-end skateboard-type deal things. And well, when you're dealing with the number one e-rideable company in America, with the hoverboards, the skateboards, the bikes, the scooters, 
the surfboard. All we do is we, everything we focus on is around batteries. So when we order containers and containers of batteries to put in these products, you can imagine our price goes down. We pass that directly on the consumer. That's a great thing. Now I also see a chain and pedal, so that means I could drive this when the batteries run low or if I just don't want to turn them on and actually get some cardio in, correct? Absolutely. Well, 20 miles, that's, that's fine for me. I don't need to pedal, but if you want to go out and pedal and do some exercise, why not do a little bit of exercise? Or if you want to go for a longer ride, maybe 40 miles, maybe get your cardio in, turn on the battery when you're getting a little tired, go that direction. You know, and that's the thing, because even with the skateboards, they have that free wheel capability, so if your battery runs low, you're not carrying it. I've had that happen to me, and I've actually been able to kick it to point B and plug it back in. Yes, yeah, so you're never going to be stranded with our product. So, you, you know, if you ride it too far, or you uh, misjudge how many miles you're actually going to go, or you're out having a really good time, hitting some jumps, having a really great time, you're never going to be stranded with our product. Now, I see a couple new boards here. I, as I said, I have the swag board, but let's talk about these little things. These Spectres really caught my eye. Let's talk about those because they look different. Well, we kind of wanted to go back to the old school like penny boards back in the 70s that were really popular. But we wanted to give us more of uh, you know, our battery operated skateboards. So we wanted to kind of go with something small, something cool, something obviously light, but you don't need a remote. Really? It's all self-touch. So you basically put your foot on the front of it, it goes forward. You let your foot off the pressure, and it slows down has a max speed of roughly about 15 miles an hour, and you're probably gonna get roughly about 15 miles out of it. Oh, that's a great thing. And if you look how thin this is, and it's full carbon fiber base. As everything's built in, it's like my board, the battery's attached under it. I love how this is all enclosed. Absolutely, so this is our Spectra Pro. This is the most advanced. It is $9.99, but obviously the battery, all integrated carbon fiber. It also has a brake. So when you're going a little too fast, all you do is tap on the back, start slowing you down gradually. Oh, that is a nice thing. Now, what is uh, the other unit, the price okay. point? Oh, this is our this is our advanced, and our price point on this is $7.99. So it is very similar to the Spectra Pro, but the only difference between the Spectra Pro and the advanced is the braking. So the braking on this is, as soon as you let your foot off the front, it, it, like, it starts to engage your brake. Versus it. when you want to, you're moving really quick and you want to engage the brake quickly, you put your foot on the back and you put pressure on the back and it engages the brake a lot faster, a lot quicker. It's more for the advanced rider. Now with the Pro, let's just say I took my foot off the front end and I wanted to coast. I could do that with the Pro versus I could not do that with the Advance, correct? Yeah, the Pro is going to be a little bit more forgiving versus the Advance is not going to be so forgiving because it's more or less built in with that brake. It's all it's all driven on the front wheel drive. So a front wheel drive car, Got it. like a Prius, you let off the gas, it really starts slowing down because it's battery powered. It's not going to really go too much, but the technology that's in the Pro, that's not in the Advance, kind of make that, that small little adjustment. Now, are these available right now? Absolutely. Oh, guys, these are deals right here. Right after the show, you can jump on swagtron.com and start picking them up. Guys, you know the website, you've seen the review we've had, you gotta get this. Now I'm just curious, what's a snowboard helmet all about? Is there any trick to it or is it a basic helmet? Well, With Swagtron I know there's always something there's cool always in the mix. Great. So it's not just your standard helmet. So you do have your Bluetooth, so you can be jamming, listening to your music, and it's not just for, it's not just for snowboarding or skiing. You can use it for mountain biking. Exactly. You know, it's, all, it's all certified. Or skateboarding. Or skateboarding, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you can do anything you want. But the reason we uh, like the Swagtron helmet is it's not just for the Bluetooth and the music, the USB plug that goes in the side, micro USB, so you can you know, stream it right to your phone, or you can do it Bluetooth wireless. But it's also if you're on the mountain or you're skiing, you're snowboarding, let's say your buddy's on ski lift number 16, you lose him. If he has the same helmet, you click the button, say, hey, let's meet here, and it's two-way radio. Oh, you have a push to talk feature? Push to talk feature. Oh, that is just beyond insane. Price point. Price point. We haven't figured out a price point on this just yet, but we're linking roughly around 199. So we're guessing this might be out about. Uh, give it a couple months. We're still working out some kinks on the uh, on the technology, but we believe we'll have it finished in the next couple of months. Well, you know what? It's January. If you're using it for the snow, you don't need it till October, November anyway, because uh, you know. The season's there. Give them a couple months on it, but this is definitely and, a win-win-win unit. Push with this was more for our bikes because the earpieces are removable on both sides. So you could remove the earpieces, slide them out, take out the inside, and just use it as a standard helmet for for mountain biking. Be a little cooler. We do have vents closed, open, adjustable back end. If you're riding with goggles. Your goggles are out. Oh, see, you guys think of everything. We try. You really do. And I mean, you, this, I'm just going to say, is probably going to sit somewhere in our top 10 products. 
I love the concept of it, how it could work for so many different things, but that push to talk feature is such a winner because when you have stuff over your ears, that's the biggest thing. I'm trying to turn something down or fiddle with this, and all I have to do is do this, and it's going to cut out what I'm listening to, let me do what I need to do, and if I'm on the receiving end, it's the same thing. And absolutely, and as, we, as people know, you know when you're on the mountain and you wanna, you're trying to mess with your phone, you got to take your gloves off, imagine just, just push the pause button. Or if you want to answer a phone call, just push the button on your ear. Exactly. So and now you can answer your phone call or you can talk on a two-way radio. With your gloves on. With your gloves on. With your gloves on. Now the last thing, I don't know if we could see it because everyone's trying to get their hands on this thing. You guys have a little scooter running around somewhere. Is it the uh, is it the two wheel scooter with the uh, like a little sled looking thing? Yeah, and it reminds me of like it's, like, a, it's our go kart. Okay, there you go. It reminds me of like a green machine. If you guys are old enough to remember that thing, tell me a little about that. I don't know if we'll see it zipping by. We'll try to get a camera. Well, it's like the, it's, well, it's like the green machine or the version of a big wheel. Right. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's powered by one of our our hoverboards. So hoverboard, but obviously when you pull it up, you have to go left, you go right, you push down, it goes straight. You pull, you pull it back and pump up the pump up the front. You can do wheelies on it. So I don't know where it's at. But yeah. it's, it's the most popular thing we have at the show. Uh, for you know, everybody can ride it, whether you're an adult, whether you're a kid. Everybody loves it. And that's what I mean. I've seen it. It's zipping everywhere. So I don't know if we'll find it. But as soon as I saw it, the first thought that came to my mind, because unfortunately I am that old, was wait a second. This is an electronic green machine in a sense. What's the price point on something like that? Because I mean, for me, I'm putting my eight-year-old in one of those things. We're looking at about 2.99 price point. Oh, that's that's cheap as cheap can be. Is it available now, or are we hoping to get it out soon? Uh, it's gonna be available in the spring. Guys, all I could say is around April, May. And my birthday's in May, so I love that time. You're gonna see some really fun products come to line, but until May, I'd say right now, get to Swagtron. Get to Swagtron.com. You're going to see their line of everything. We didn't cover all the stuff. They have the scooters. They have the one wheels. There's one going by over there. They have so many great things. But for me, I'm in love with that snowboard, with that surfboard, and this mountain bike. These are just winning, win, win products, especially for me in this town. But wherever you are, that looks like an off-roading product. And if, Absolutely. And if you're in the water, how do you lose with an inflatable board that has its own jet power engine that I could put in my trunk and then pump up. And of course, you don't always need the hand pump. Get an electronic pump that goes in the cigarette lighter, correct? Absolutely, and that's why you're dealing with the number one e-rideable company on the planet. There you go. We love everything Swagtron did. I mean, Chris, you guys have truly knocked much. this stuff so out of the park. Guys, the links are right down here. Get to their site, swagtron.com. Besides the great products they have, they have the price points that no one's going to beat. So for myself, for Chris, for everyone over here at Swagtron, CES 2018 and Buzz TV, we're out of here, guys. Thanks, Buzz. See ya. Bye, guys. Be right here, Buzz TV, CES 2018. And we're at our last year's best of, and they just might take it again this year. We're at Kinemo with Corral, and we're going to talk about the insane hologram projectors that you guys have. So. We were here last year, but Akinamo, you guys, it looked like you upped the game. We love the way you have this display where you can mount multiple units and get a huge wall. Let's talk about that. Yeah. How did you guys come up with this technology? Yeah, it's, uh, it's lots of work, three years of work and magic, lots of magic, engineering magic, yeah. But now, today we have this product, which is called Hypervision, and multiple units can be combined together to create a single large visual of any size and you can as you can see it today here and the best part about this it's not just a visual you could do video rolls i've seen this thing display text so there's so many applications you could do now you could also get a single unit and do something as a storefront window but for us at the music world guys take a look at this stuff if you're a band this is the new video wall this will give you so many things, so many designs that you could do. Now, let's just say we have a bunch of stuff. Is it something that the consumer could actually edit their own video, or do they have to go to the company to get uh, the new pieces of uh, 
video they want to display. So technically, so any format is supported. So a MP4, AV, so anything that you have in your computer can be uploaded and then played. But obviously, you know, if you want the best effect, so you would you would like to have 3D rendered graphics put on it. And normally you just render it, you know, specifically. So th that's what brands do. So they, you know, create a brief and then agencies that we work towards this brief to create the best piece of graphics to create the best experience for people. That is great. Now what's the price point? Because I know there's multiple size units. So let's talk about that. Because last year I think you had three sizes. Is that the same this year? Uh, well, today, right now, we're shipping one, one size, uh, 22 inch, it's 56 centimeters and we've been shipping it uh, successfully. So this is the first time we're showing this size at CES here 2018. And this product is not available uh, for sale yet, but will be in 2018. And the price will be revealed later in this year. Right, because I see, because last year I think there were like two blades on the unit. Now I see it's, it's a four blade unit. And boy, the punch it gives now is just so, so amazing. Now, to to purchase this, where would we go to pick this up? So the best way to, uh, to purchase it would be just to get in touch with us directly and then we would redirect to one of our distributors around the world depending on where you're based. And what's the website? It's kino-mo.com. Kino-mo.com. Now we'll have links down here in the description just so you're, it's an easy one, two, boom, click and see. But guys, you have seen the next big thing. Not just lighting and not just video. It is true holographic projection that's 3D, it's in your face, and it is so immersive. For us, we know we're gonna be picking up some units, but for you bands out there, this is the stuff that's gonna get you on the next level. We really appreciate you guys taking the yeah, time with us. And again, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be our best of two years in a row. No one's ever done that, but with a product like this, that's why you have it. Again, thank you for everything, my friend. For us, for Hypervision here at Kinomo, CES 2018 and Buzz TV, we're out of here. See ya.